Hello everyone, and welcome to Silent Hill Homecoming. We are finally returning to the Silent Hill series after quite a long time. Time really gets away from you. The last game that we played in the series was Silent Hill Origins last year, and it was early last year too. Uh, it's just time has absolutely flown by, and I've always had it in the back of my mind to come back and go through the other games. While they may not be Team Silence Silent Hill games, I do want to experience them and I do want to check them out. Uh, and we're starting with with Homecoming on the Xbox 360. I've booted up my my 360 console for the first time in, in so long, so that's what we're playing it on. Uh, and I do have the UK version of the game, as uh, this game came out, I believe, um, it came out before Australia got approved to get um, R18 game classifications. The maximum we had at that point in time was uh, what was called uh, Mature Audience was 15, like MA15. Um, and anything that was too rated, like too high, was censored, banned, etc, etc. Uh, this was one of those games in Australia, so I've got a UK copy. Left 4 Dead 2 was one of those games that got like approved but heavily censored. Uh, games like Mortal Kombat 9 um, were straight up banned until we were allowed to get the R18 classification. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Australian board, uh, the Australian board of uh, classification, especially for video game, is uh, video games are a weird, weird thing. Disco Elysium Final Cut also had problems. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So I've sourced myself a copy. Uh, that should not suffer from those details. It does unfortunately mean I own two copies of this game, but I will sell one and use those funds to buy Downpour or something. So I haven't bought Downpour yet. We've got a whole bunch of games left to play. I think there's Shattered Memories is an, is another one. Um, but let's focus on let's focus on Homecoming because it's about time, and it's an apt title as well as we come home to Silent Hill, right? So. I don't know what it's about. Uh, we can see on the cover that they brought, they've brought they brought the nurses back from Silent Hill 2. Um, I guess the nurses are kind of a staple for Silent Hill, aren't they? I haven't checked out the back. I did just glimpse it and I went, wait, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> don't want to read the back. Because um, I, don't, I don't know anything yet. So we're just going to jump in with, with a new game. And pick our hard drive for save files. Normal difficulty, all monsters and ammo set to default values. Let's just play on normal difficulty. Uh, adjust our brightness. Enemies are attracted to Alex's flashlight. There you go. There's our protagonist's name. We're jumping right in. Oh no. Oh no. Closed captions. Air raid sirens. Are they here? And explosions. Did they make it? Hey! Hey, talk to me! Say something! Oh, God! Oh, God! Hey! Hey, what are they doing? What's going on there? Hey, where are you taking me? No! Hey! No! Where am I? Hey, what is this place? Hey, where are you taking me? No! Where am I, man? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Don't leave me here! The hospital staff here are so friendly. Okay, um... Okay... It's just going right into it right into it. We already have the flashlight and the radio on our jacket. You don't even have to fuck around and find those things later. Just mash A to escape and we... We dropped right in the mess. 
So, protagonist's name is Alex. He's appropriately dressed for Silent Hill. He's got the he's got the outfit nailed down for a Silent Hill protagonist. Press RB to access your item inventory. And then we can turn on the flashlight with X. Okay. Uh, and then radio on or off with Y. Okay, we don't have any weapons. Now, okay. Um so that nurse uh, got karma for not responding to us and he was uh, he was murdered right away. Now, I have turned on uh, I've turned on subtitles because uh, subtitles are good for people watching and people hard of hearing. Um, however, unfortunately, uh, there's no option for closed captions to be on or off. So we are going to get the meme of sound screaming <laughs> on the on the thing. But it is a necessary evil because I believe subtitles are uh, good accessibility options, right? So we've got a weapons inventory. And, I guess, a health inventory. Health drink, first aid kit. Oh, right. We're back with Silent Hill, and we're gonna get our bearings. We have a dodge roll. We Dark Souls now. Okay, let's go. And we don't have any maps available. Objectives, escape from the hospital. Very well done. And we have a journal. We have not found any clues. The combat manual is empty. No photos and no drawings. But good to know. Welcome back to Silent Hill. Welcome back. The door is locked. It is, it is broken. You can't get through. Silent Hill and doors. Alright, we're already... We've, we've got the peak Silent Hill experience already. We can pack it up. We can go home. That's it. A doctor's memo. The patient in room 206 is scheduled to undergo a transorbital lobotomy tomorrow. I've mandated that the following medications be doubled on the day of the procedure. I thought lobotomies were obsolete. Who scheduled this procedure? I'm gonna have a word with the doctor. Oh my god. Okay. Um, there's something about the atmosphere of Silent Hill uh, that's um, oddly comforting in a way. There's like a... I've only played the series over the past two years. I started playing Silent Hill 2 back in the beginning of 2020. But when I view this and you, you kind of like read the font, there's something about this imagery of just like... these items with the, with the font over it. When you're playing a Silent Hill game, it's just like this weird sort of... It's comfortable in a ho horror sense. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, it feels, it feels so familiar and comfortable. Holy shit, is this an iron lung? Got an iron lung in here as well? Where the fuck am I? Interestingly enough as well, I want to point out the fact that they did the classic air siren thing at the beginning, which has been in Silent Hill since the beginning, but our... Our man, Alex, actually has dog tags. It seems he actually served. Uh, and talking about his squad and stuff. So I think they're actually going to tie... It looks like it's actually relevant to our character as well. Which is an interesting take, because we haven't had that before. The the air raid sirens and all of that has just kind of been a thing. That's been like an unsettling thing when they just like shifted sort of... You know, between Otherworld and stuff. But might actually... Josh. Josh, is that you? Relate to our character. <laughs> okay, the gate is locked. Maybe the keypad controls it. Josh and Alex. Very uh, unique names. Okay, kid is drawing. We must find out how to get the memo. Missing patient bulletin. Room 205, patient went missing. Last seen in the day room, after a confrontation with another. The rest of the message is blurred and illegible. Ooh. God, this whispering is creepy. Tell me the code, kid. Alright, do we just... What should we... What, should we, what do you reckon? One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on. How many... Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, six numbers. Alright. <clears throat> One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna need a six, six number code for our, for our boy Josh, who's just chilling and having a draw. Classic Silent Hill map. It's a map of the hospital. Um. Okay, Josh is drawn on there. We got our drawings again on the map. Oh, we're in Alcamilla Hospital. Fuck, we're in the hospital. I mean, if you're gonna be in a hospital, you're gonna be in the hospital. Nice. Um, something that's like kind of something that we'll need to adjust to is obviously we've got a an instant shift of uh, we don't. We're a over the over the shoulder third person camera instead of um, you know our fixed camera positions, which I really love and miss those old classic Silent Hill uh, angles, you know, the camera angles. Something is scratched onto the surface of the X-ray. So six two four, we've got the first three letters of the code. find another piece of something. 624. Let's keep going. Looks like the lock is broken. I can open it. It's very dark. I've got the flashlight on, by the way. Like, look at that. Put it down the hallway. I might turn the brightness up for you, for, for you all a bit. Let me just bump that up a bit, see if that makes a bit of a difference. It doesn't make it, it doesn't make a lick of difference. <laughs> Let's turn it all the way up. Holy crap. It barely changes. The This is a dark game. Okay, um, you know, we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. I mean, the point, point is that it's supposed to be dark, but it's, it's like pitch black. It's atmospheric. Oh, yeah, sure. Alright. Okay. Oh, God, man, what the? Not the doll. A child's doll that appears to be burned. I wonder how it got here. Never mind that. Why is it crying? Oh, man. Oh, that sound effect is so nice to hear. I don't know, man. Silent Hill. It's, it's just very comfortable in a weird way. A page from an incident report. The patient proceeded to leap through the window and then ravaged the adjacent room. The patient was not responsive to verbal commands. Three staff members eventually subdued the patient. The patient entered a catato uh, catatonic state and stopped responding to outside stimuli. Restraints were unnecessary during the following week's electroshock therapy sessions. Physics. Let me knock this shit over. Okay, so we got some burning baby chambers. Nice. Oh, for a second I thought this was going to be a mirror. I wonder how they're going to implement the the other world um, aspect of this game. Because for a second I thought that might have been a mirror, and it might have been similar to um, how they've done it before, where you go to a mirror and do it. Take the x-ray film. I got the x-ray film. Uh, and I guess we can um, take that to um, that x-ray board, and it will have the other half of the code on it, I assume. Locked door, classic. Look at those frames when we hop over the thing. Ooh, hang on. I can, I can open doors with ferocity. Nice. Whoa! Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, that's good. Jump scare. That's that's always good, just to make sure that you're alive. All right, I can open the doors with a f with uh, anger if I if I tap A. So you can open them slowly, or you can just fucking. <clears throat> Charge through that shit. All right, alive and well now. Let's use that. Six two four eight seven two. Hell yeah! 
and our we had a journal symbol. There we go. The number six two four eight seven two is written across the eight. Uh, the X-ray film. Thanks for writing that down for me, bro. <laughs> This creepy child, man. 624872. Oh, hang on. 624872. That's the code that was on the x-ray. Josh. Josh. Okay. After all that effort, I went through to, um, to fucking get you out of here, mate. It had, it did the journal, but it, it didn't update anything. Right, give me this. I guess this now goes into it. I got a child's drawing. Um, Peppa Pig. A family of bunnies. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, bunnies. Like fucking. What's his face? Try the other doors first before we go after him, just to see. And <laughs> lo and behold, yeah, family of bunnies. That reminds me, I'm gonna show you this, and I can't believe I'm not wearing this for the occasion. All right, change of shirt because we got our rabbit Robbie's pyramid things shirt. It glows in the dark. He glows in the dark. I can't show you because we're not in the dark. You're just gonna have to trust me. Um. There we go. We'll wear the we'll wear Robbie's rabbit shirt because we gotta celebrate Silent Josh, Hill. Stop, Josh! Stop. Nice. Got our cool little mirror. Uh, the toilet does not sound very nice. Okay. I mean, with the with what we're seeing right now, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's not, it's not looking it's not looking good, bruv. Looking good. Okay. 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 So it's like a simplified version of the OG. Was a Halo of the Sun symbol, I think? OG version? Uh, simplified version of that... Um, of that symbol, I guess. They're just like three circles and... Uh, inside a bigger circle. There you go. Oh, as well as the dodge roll, we just have a straight quick... Quick ass dodge. Look at that. Rolling in multiple directions. I mean, not bad. Huh. No dedicated jump button, but we got a dedicated roll button. Roll and duck, baby. Alright. Heading out one toilet and going into the other. He's just r running us around in circles. Josh, you're not allowed in here. Oh, okay. Why is this locked? Is someone in there? Better, better have a look. I got a combat knife. Oh, there you go. This is how it transitions. Right before our very eyes. Oh, here comes our first combat. There you go. You got the combat knife. Is someone in this toilet? Yes. Oh, and it's a nurse. She got butt cheeks. She got butt cheeks. Let's go. Okay, hold left trigger. Oh, okay. Gonna give you a breast reduction by slicing them out. Okay, our Camilla's finest. So, yep. There's a bit of up there. All right, Silent Hill nurses, they're back. How you attack? Hold left trigger. Get a bit of the old slice and dice. We got that classic otherworld 
cage sort of fucking shit <laughs> that you see. It's looking good. It's very, very familiar. Very classic Silent Hill. Uh, we just cut that nurse to pieces. Um, no fucking... No worries. Okay. Well, the lock is broken. I cannot open it. Um, and the map is now different. Alright. Um, should we... I got the flashlight on again. It's really dark in here. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can just go through. Okay, there you go. Ah, perfect. Yes, I forget. New pathways open when other world happens. Things are different. Very linear. Give me that first aid kit. Okay. Hey. -ya. up from the ground. I don't know. Hello? Where are we? Up the stairs. Alright, let's check. Before we head upstairs, let's just make sure... Oh, so weird that you can see the save symbol like through walls. Oh no, I can't. I can see it through a window. Never mind. Never mind. Right, we're going up. Oh my fucking god! Alright, there you go. Just another jump scare. There you go. There's a the wheelchair. What's there to be afraid of? It's just a chair on wheels. And they move on their own sometimes. That's that's fine. Just this game going for cheap jump scares instead of actually unsettling me. That's fine. The doctors say that I'm una unable to discern fantasy from reality, but I think I know what's going on around here. I saw those demons murder the other patients. I want to escape from this cursed place, but I don't dare venture into the light. It seems that they are attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. Okay. That's good to know. Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to bust this bad boy open. If there's anything that you need to relax the nerves and steady the heart rate and not at all increase it, so I don't get killed. Okay. Where'd that wheelchair come from? Who's throwing shit at me? Who's throwing cheap jump scares at me? I've got a knife. Um, my radio's going off. Yeah. Who's Who's on the couch? Who's on the couch? I'm gonna keep myself with a peppy attitude, otherwise I'm gonna get spooked. A pep in my step. Let's jump over. Oh, there you are. Nurse, what did I tell you about watching TV? Okay, why does the camera angle look like this? Really zooming in on the nurse. Oh, there's another one. Slicing you. There's a... I mean, there's some blood. I'm seeing it. But, like... There's, there's not a lot of... The knife doesn't really seem to do much. <laughs> This is what TV does to it. This is what TV does to a motherfucker. You gotta go out and touch grass sometimes. You gotta go out and stretch those legs. That's what happens if you watch too much television. And all they play is garbage nowadays. Look at this. The TV isn't plugged in. How is this possible? <laughs> that's that's what we're gonna question, Alex. Out of everything in this place. All oh, right. Nice. Okay. Got a. Slice open those flesh doors. Oh, the teeth. Oh, the teeth. Squeeze through. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. It could be a little more gory when you when you slice and dice your enemies, I think. It's pretty uh they're pretty chill with it. I'm not seeing anything so far that would really justify that R18, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully it gives us some gross, gory stuff. That's what we're here for, baby. Horrors beyond our comprehension. 
Like us, we've we're so desensitized, right? We bodies in half on a on a bed in a hospital, and other world. Uh, that's that's every day, bro. That's every day. That's what living in modern society is like. That shit right there. I need something more. Not bugs, though. I'm against bugs. Especially when they're abnormally large, and they're bigger than they ever should be. Um, I, okay, I take it back. I don't want bugs. How did you let that happen? You've got a knife! You got bit through the jacket, hardcore. Oh no. Not fucking buggy boys. Step on them! Step on them! Step on them! Step on them! Slice and dice them! Is there one on my face? Oh, it's on my fucking face! How do you get it off? It's eating me! Get the fuck off of my face! <laughs> it's kissing me and everything, bro. Tongue and all. Holy shit. Alright, so my health bar pops up on the left-hand side of the screen. So there's a health bar instead of, um... Kind of popping open your inventory. Alright, there you go. I am conveniently... Inconveniently, I should say, behind my health bar. There's that red meter there. Uh, it's not too important to show, to be honest with you. I can see it, and I'll heal. It pops up here and there. Let's see how much... Uh... I haven't taken that much damage. I'll hold on to my healing items. Um, I'm gonna have a look and see how combat encounters go as well after this opening segment. Because um, I... Actually, never mind. I can't. Oh, it's a shame. You can't change uh, game difficulty. That makes sense. You can't change game difficulty during the game. Ooh, we got some music coming in. Okay. Yes, yeah, nice. Joshua's. Uh, <laughs> it's the same rabbit. Joshua's rabbit. Robbie the rabbit doll stuffed in his backpack. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Pleasantly dressed for the occasion now. And he was drawing his rabbit family. This is an incredibly dark game. Uh, visually, it is one of the darkest, dimly lit Silent Hill openers. I've ever had the pleasure of uh, going through. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Look at him just sitting there waiting for me. Let's have some fun with this. Hey, ladies. Mind if I join? Okay. So nice of you to wait until I was finished with the other two. You wait your turn. a clean slice down the middle, holy shit. Not bad, dude. That was what was gonna happen to Alex if he didn't fucking wake up. And manage to break free of the... of the thing. I can't get through here, the door is chained shut. Gotta get some... Bolt cutters. Squeeze through. So the game just really just throws you into this, you know, like there's no there's no opening movie outside of the you're on a you're just on the hospital bed getting carted into the room and then they're just like, alright, have fun. I got another child's drawing. I mean, I know it's a child's drawing, and Josh, like, I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure you mean well. This bunny looks catatonic, but it does They don't look like fucking rabbits, dude. Get better at drawing. And then maybe we'll talk. the other oh it's the other half of the body from downstairs i wonder who put him here his hand is holding onto a key of some sort the operating theater key 
Looks like the surgeon got surgeoned. This way is blocked. I can't go any further here. That's fine. Huge fan of the teeth door. All right, let's um, let's get this bad boy open <laughs> with a key. See, I was thinking a bit. I was thinking too violently. Chain cutters? No, <laughs> no. It's, it's just get a key. Okay. Okay. Joshua? Is that you? I'm busy. Go away. What are you doing here? I want my toy. Ooh, dialogue options. How did you get here? Are you afraid? Dialogue options is interesting. You never ask anyone in Silent Hill how they got there because fucking nobody knows. Are you afraid? Aren't you afraid of being here alone? I'm a brave soldier. I'm looking for Robbie. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can help you, kid. Not until you improve your drawing skills. All right, I want to help you. Is there anything I can do? Find Robbie. I want my toy. I haven't seen any toys around here. Guess you're not my friend. Okay. Brutal. I'll go see if I can find him. Brutal. Okay. Um. It keeps. Maybe. Robbie keeps the bad man away. Oh, that's what it says on the photo. Robbie keeps the bad man away. Okay. Stuffed in his backpack. So it keeps popping up with the symbol in the top left corner, and I don't... Maybe that's an autosave, but I wouldn't expect there to be an autosave, because Silent Hill, you kind of have to save yourself. So I'm not sure what's going on with that journal symbol, because it is not giving me anything. Because that's just clues and shit. Fucking, I don't, I don't know, man. That journal symbol just opens up whenever it wants to. <laughs> Did you just laugh at me because it's jammed? Holy shit, man. This, this kid's brutal. Um, so... <laughs> there is Josh! We have to go and... find... Ronnie. Okay. Let's save our game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all just manual save, so... Shouldn't have to, um... Shouldn't be an autosave symbol. Oh my god, I have a strike. Looking for a toy for Joshua, even though he's kind of rude, and I don't know what my relationship to him is. That doesn't sound very nice. That also made me think about how there was that doctor guy that got fucking stabbed with a giant blade. Who the fuck's wielding a giant blade? Fucking if they've brought if they've brought Pyramid Head back, that will make me laugh. There's the toy. Oh god. God, why does that look like that? Oh. Inside the mirror vagina, okay. I... yeah, okay. We're gonna stick our hand in it like the fucking butterfly hole in Silent Hill 2. Okay, this is uh, creepy, we've got the blood coming out of it. Alright. Don't stick your hand in weird holes. 
reach inside or leave, as if we have a choice. But yeah, if they've brought the nurses back, fuck, if they end up bringing Pyramid Head back, just because it's a big blade, who else uses a big blade? It'll be a Pyramid Head or a Pyramid Head knockoff, because I think <clears throat> Silent Hill Origins had a butcher enemy that was very much kind of the same thing. So we'll see. Mm -mm -mm. This is, yeah, this is like literally the fucking <coughs> Silent Hill 2. It Except much more dangerous. Ooh. Bruh. <laughs> hey, look how he's standing, man. Look how he's standing. This toy keeps the bad man away. Look at the fucking blood on the mouth, man. Look at those eyes. He's standing there like, Mum said it's my turn on the Xbox, dude. Fuck that. Okay. What the fuck is that? Get the bug off of my face! I ain't, I ain't want these. I ain't want these bugs, Gamma. Bugs off of me, man. I don't want no fucking bugs. Get these fucking bugs away from me. No more, no more bugs. I got your toy. Don't say I don't do anything for you, kid. Who I don't even fucking know. Hey. Look at me, pal. Here's your creepy ass bunny. Here. I want Robbie. This is yours, you remember? Take it. Come on. Where are you going? Josh! Josh, come back! Where are you going? Josh! Children. I can't understand them. They make no sense to me. <laughs> I want Robbie. Fuck, I can't believe he brought me Robbie. I'm out of here. <laughs> he actually did it. The fuck it. What's going on here? The, these Robbie dr uh, drawings are descending into madness. A family of bunnies, three bloody bunnies. What the fuck? What's happening here? What's happening, kiddo? This man needs a father. Or a, or a brother. I, I, my character doesn't look like he could be a father. He, I don't know how old my guy is. I don't know who Josh is. I don't know who his relationship is to Alex. Alex is a uh, military man, that's all we know. And Josh is a fucking bunny lover kid. Hard to get a hold of. So, that's the in water ending of Silent Hill 2, guys. And it's, it's, instead of James, it's a bunny. <laughs> this bunny seems to be flailing about in the water. That's the ending to Silent Hill 2. I think I hear the faint sound of water lapping on the shore, but saw the source seems to be coming from just beyond this door, but that's impossible. Well, this is a hospital. Anything's possible in Silent Hill, baby. I think I already tried already tried that door. This game gaslights you into checking doors again and again and again. I can't get through right now. Can I call the elevator? I'll wait like a good little boy. Glad that the elevator's working in this fucking other world dimension. Okay. I, I don't know what floor we're on, so I'm glad that he knows. He's 
like, this was a bad idea. <laughs> and I only just, I only just think it's a bad idea. Oh, it's Travis. Bad dream. <laughs> it's Travis from Silent Hill Origins. He's drucken. <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah, just be like, all right, wake up, son, it was just a bad dream. You ain't in no Silent Hill. Here, listen to the new Mary Elizabeth McGlynn track. Welcome to Shepherd's Glen. Family comes first, and then the a, the new title screen, Shepherd's Glen, <laughs> Homecoming. <laughs> I've been baited. This isn't a Silent Hill game at all. It's a Shepherd's Glen game. What is it with the games? These uh, the, this game and the last game having a having a truck involvement in the beginning. It's always Hometown. trucking. You could say that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks. Call me Travis. Thanks for the ride. And then this truck driver goes off to run over that girl, and then the events of Silent Hill Origins happen. <laughs> It's just weird how they kind of look similar. They wear in the trucker's clothes. Wow, Toluca Lake. My house. Fuck, alright, Alex lives in Silent Hill. I need to go home. Okay, so they decided to have Homecoming open in the same way or a similar way to Silent Hill 3 where it's a dream first, and then you wake up. And I was like, oh, it was all just a pleasant, a pleasant little dream in Al Camilla Hospital. It's the banner for the 150th anniversary parade. Um, and for some reason they decided to put the poster up on the corner of the column. <laughs> Why did they put it on the corner? Shepherd's Glen, 150th anniversary celebration, Saturday and Sunday, Excuse me, September 20th and 21st. Two big days, rain or shine. Events kick off Saturday with a parade down Main Street, 10 a.m. Food, games, rides, dunk tank featuring Mayor Bartlett. Period costume contest. Prizes will be awarded. Live music and entertainment by Eye of the Storm. Admission is free. Bring the kids. Lovely. Okay. Um, far out. Main Street... Well, I recognize you're gonna. Re anyone's gonna recognize Toluca Lake. Um, interesting. I think one of the things that's different about this game and its map in comparison to the rest is usually the maps uh, don't tell you where your character is, uh, but this one's different. Uh, this one's different. Um, we have a blue arrow. That tells us where we are at all times. I need to go home. I'm gonna run. What's going me. on here? I should head back. Oh, I completely have disappeared. Okay. I just want to see if I can walk in like a. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's great. I was, I was like, I want to run in the opposite direction and see what happens. Holy fuck, when you run into the fog, and it disappears, and you just keep running, the game has, like, span you around. Ah, uh, I like that, you're getting, like, lost in the fog. That's, that's cool. I like that. It's a neat touch. Alright, let's keep you on track. This is Dr. Fitch's office. He's been in this location since before I was born. Naturally, however, it is locked. Alright, so we actually get details on these places. Well, okay, not all of them. Some of them, when you try the doors. Shepherd's Glen. 
Okay. So there was a there was a little bit of uh, a little bit of Mary Elizabeth McGlynn uh, on the radio. So that's nice. I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to another beautiful uh, Silent Hill vocal track. Akira and Mary together are obviously like the most powerful musical duo, um, and it's so good. I love hearing them together. That's one thing is like you might kind of fuck around and not enjoy post team silent silent hill games but the soundtrack is always a strong point um ORT from Silent Hill Origins banger of a track so I'll be keeping my ears this place ready Alex ooh <laughs> Judge Holloway hey know you were home. Does your mother know? She didn't say anything. No, I haven't talked to her. Actually, I haven't really talked to anyone. I'm not planning on sticking around for long. Oh. Well, I hope you get a chance to catch up with Elle. I'm sure she'd love to see you. She's still here? <laughs> of course. You know how it is. No one ever leaves this place. Yeah, I guess. This town's so quiet. It's changed. Hmm. Yes. Not for the better, I'm afraid. You should go home. See your mother. Perhaps I'll see you later. You look well, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> it's so unsettling, bro. So unsettling. She just like, just walks up out of nowhere in this fucking busted ass town. She's like, yeah, this town's kind of shit. No one ever leaves though. All right, you look well. Walks off into the fog like, fuck man, this place is, it's like the town of Silent Hill. What an enigma. But then I guess we always need to kind of have that mentality that I think the if we to believe uh, if we to believe it, I believe Silent Hill is obviously reflected differently for everyone, except in the protagonist's case where it's always the same and it's always foggy nightmare. <laughs> but obviously, what you see in the town itself is different. Okay, so we can go into the town hall. A, a door that's not locked. We can go into the town hall before we go see Mother Dearest at our house. Bust on in. Let's have a look. Let's vandalize some property. I can't, yeah. I can't inspect painting. I would have liked to. I don't know how much effort I should put into, um... Oh, hang on, here we go. Wait a minute. You can inspect bookshelves. It's a collection of historical books. Famous coal mining towns of New England. Pivotal battles of the Civil War. Frontier cures. Bleed and purge. Cool. You can inspect books. It looks like a record of the town's obituaries. Attached is a record of burials in Rose Heights Cemetery. Oh. I can't see anything thought that we might have gotten some cool name drops. Walter Sullivan, maybe? The shelves contain medicine and anatomy journals. Gotta have that, uh, gotta have that Walter Sullivan news clipping. It's a newspaper article. Oh, there we go. Newspaper article. What should have been a normal school run home turned into tragedy last week when a freak thunderstorm washed a school bus into the raging torrent of the Toluca River. The normally placid river, swollen by nearly a week of record-breaking rainfall, was running almost 15 feet higher than normal. Mark Ward, the consentious school bus driver for Toluca County, was unprepared for what he found when entering Riverview Road that runs parallel with the river. The fast-moving water eroded the soil underneath the asphalt, leaving it unsupported. The road suddenly collapsed as the bus pitched into the roaring river below, carried along a white water ride for one quarter of a mile amongst the screams of the petrified children. The bus became lodged under the aptly named 
Hope Bridge. Dr. Martin Fitch, MD, had just finished a house call and was on his way back to the office, following directly behind the school bus when the road gave way. Managing to stop in time, Dr. Fitch got out of his car, braving the downpour, and ran alongside the river for a quarter of a mile when the bus finally became jammed under the bridge. Without a thought for his own personal safety, Dr. Fitch jumped into the river and swam towards the bus. After breaking the rear window, he climbed inside. He climbed inside to assess the situation. Inside, he found a terrible scene. The driver trapped by his safety belt had been killed when the front of the bus flooded. All of the second and third grade, uh, grade students survived without major injury, but appeared severely frightened by the events. They appeared severely frightened. Wow. Good assessment, doctor. The children were evacuated to the nearby Alcamilla Hospital in Silent Hill to recuperate after their ordeal. During the evacuation, the situation took another terrifying turn. His leg trapped by the partially crumpled front of the vehicle... Brave eight-year-old Alex Shepard was unable to move. Oh, hold on a second. They don't double up on names for nothing. I think this is our character. His leg trapped by the partially crumpled front of the vehicle, brave eight-year-old Alex Shepard was unable to move. Dr. Fitch knew that if Alex didn't drown, the cold waters of the Toluca River would put him into the cold shock as his core temperature plummeted and he succumbed to hypothermia. Time was critical. The doctor quickly stripped off his shirt, taking a hold of the boy. He wrapped his, heart, his arms as tightly as he could around him and then waited for the rescue crews to reach them. The heat and warmth of the doctor's body may well have been the only thing that saved Alex's life that day. It took the fire crews nearly four hours to finally free Alex from the wreckage of the school bus, during the entire time he was trapped inside the bus, Dr. Fitch never left his side. For his feat of bravery, the city council gave their highest award to Dr. Fitch, along with the key to the city. Though tragedy struck for Martin Ward, the potential loss of all those children was averted by the selfless act of one man, Dr. Martin Fitch, MD. And there's the key to the city. I'm gonna need that. That's like a Silent Hill player's dream. I need a fucking key to every single door. So, Dr. Fitch saved my life when I was an eight-year-old boy. So, Alex Shepard is our name. Um, is it, is it like, convenience or intentional that our last name is, um, you know, the same as, um, the location that we're in? Like... Are we an important family to this place with a with a long sort of um, history in the in the town? Maybe could just be. A, I don't know if if Silent Hill ever does convenience with its last names. Oh, hang on. Okay, so we can inspect the paintings that are lit up. This is Cornelius Fitch, another one of Shepherd's Glen's four founders. I always forget that Dr. Fitch is his direct descendant. Doc never really liked to talk about town history. Okay, well there you go. We get a little bit of insight into the town history. But yeah, Alex Shepard of Shepard's Glens. Shepard Glen. Edith Holloway, one of the town's founders. My father hated the Holloways, but Margaret always treated me well. She and Elle even sent me letters when I left for the war. More letters than anyone else sent. There you go, so, military man. Sometimes I wonder how things would have turned out if I were born into a different family. Okay. One of Mayor Bartlett's ancestors was a town founder. Bartlett has been mayor since I was born, and no one ever ran against him. I guess family heritage counts for a lot here. Ah, uh, it's missing. I was like, where's the other one? It looks like there used to be a picture right here. I wonder why it's empty now. Okay. Interesting. So the four founders are together. There's a fourth one missing. The town is called Shepherd's Glen, and our last name is Alex Shepherd. I'm going to just run with the fact that our family lineage is important as well. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We just have to wait and see who that fourth founder is, but it seems quite intentional that they've taken it away from us. It's a photo of Shepherd's Glen back when Main Street was still a dirt road. So, going to, into Town Hall first gives, gives us some lore, baby. The history of Shepherd's Glen is one of opportunity and enterprise. 
first settled nearly a century and a half ago, its founders came here as pilgrims searching for a new home to practice their faith and ensure the prosperity of their four families. It soon flourished into a thriving small town. Shops and businesses sprung up on what is now Main Street. The turn of the century brought tourists eager to explore the region's lakes and rivers. And with tourists came more business. In the 1950s, many of the original muni uh, municipal buildings... Um, hang on... Um, yeah, mun uh, municipal buildings such as the town hall and the library were restored. The 90s encouraged further investment, modernizing Shepherd's Glen as it headed into the new millennium. But throughout its success, Shepherd's Glen has always managed to remain a close-knit community, maintaining the same ideals on which it was founded. One can only hope that the founding families would be proud if they saw the town as it is today. Getting that sweet-ass Silent Hill lore in this place. I would love some background music while we hear that. It's very quiet. Why is there a photo of your mom and Judge Holloway talking in our house in the town hall? It looks like a keyhole. Ah, I always thought the symbol was odd. Dad always got angry if I played with this. Interesting. I'll make a mental note of that as well. Um, we have a photo. Miss Halloway came over. Mum cried when they were talking. Okay. Gotta make sure we always read the, the text on the photos as well. Because it gives us a little more... A little more info. Oh. Ah, oh, I guess we, we should probably... Maybe if we found a map for this place, it would... See more. Ooh, weapons that can break through boards. Right. Shoot. Shit. No worries. Why is that photo of the fourth family missing? Come on, guys. Who's, who's taking that shit down? Oh, there's a save point. I will accept. Give it to me, chief. Shepherd's Glen. These plants look healthy. If someone has time to water the plants, why don't they clean up the rest of the office? We're just trying to see if we can get more bookshelf information. It's an organized collection of township journals and election records. Even though Mayor Bartlett has never been challenged, apparently. It looks like the last 50 years of Farmer's Almanacs. Each one, each one is perfectly sorted. Not a single year is missing. Give me that health drink. Okay, can I check the desk for anything? Nope. Seems like an important desk, but that's fine. It's just a save room. If they didn't want me to be able to be here at this point in the game, allow me to walk through it. It'll be locked. I just wondering if there's an option to sprint, but I don't think there is. Oh! Oh, the judge just chilling out here. Okay. She walked away into the fog, but apparently she went to the town hall. She is hanging out. It's a collection of law encyclopedias and town government papers. There's a collection of newspapers from the neighboring towns. Yo, judge. Hello. Hey. Judge Holloway, can I ask you a question? Sure, Alex. What is it? Ooh. Why is the town empty? This is also a, a really interesting thing. Having dialogue options. Why is the town empty? The town seems empty. All the stores are closed or boarded up. What's going on? It's complicated, Alex. <laughs> a lot of things have happened since you left. I really think you ought to just go home. Okay. <laughs> it's complicated. All right. Town anniversary? I noticed a banner out front that said something about an anniversary. Yes. The town's 150-year anniversary. But wasn't that celebration, like, years ago? I thought I remembered being here for it. You're right. Things tend to stay in one place around here. <laughs> I guess it's time we took that down, huh? Okay. Was that when everything shut down? Was that when all the businesses started closing? 
I'm not sure, Alex. It's been a while. I was just curious. You need to go home, Alex. Your mother's not been well. She needs you. What the fuck? Is my mom okay? What's wrong? Is she okay? Go home, Alex. Your mother needs you. We can talk later. So dismissive. She's like, mm, yeah. All right, I think we can also ask about L. Alex, could you come back later? Oh, this really mind. isn't a good time. So we had the option to, but we chose to ask for other things instead. This isn't a good time, huh? I'll show you a good time. Yeah! That's an obstruction of justice. All right, let's go. <laughs> She's just chilling. All right. Uh, can't trust the law. She's sus. I don't know, man. Can't even give me a straight answer. Just wants me to go home. Yeah. And this is um, a newspaper article. All right, let's leave the town hall. Let's go see mom. Dear old mom, who's apparently not well. Feels strange to be back here again. Interesting. Okay. Fancy ass house. Have a look. What the fuck? Big ass arrow. Go that way. My house. Big objective. Um. Excuse me. Looks like something was trying to claw its way into the garage. The door won't open without the garage door remote. Yeah, also, also the fucking blood? Oh. Whoop. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. Let's stick to the house first before we go... <laughs> before we go doing that. Ducking around the place. Let's go say hi to dear old mom. Why are all the curtains drawn? Looks like they haven't been opened in years. I don't know, man. There ain't exactly any fucking light to let into the house, so why open the window? Really? <laughs> I mean, there ain't ain't any real reason to. Guess I can turn off the flashlight if I want. Oh. Hello? Hello? Huh, that's strange. Okay. That's our family, I guess. It's a photo of Dad, Mom, and, ah, and Josh. Okay, so Josh is a relative. Dad, Mom, and Josh. I don't remember this one. It must have been gone. I must have been gone when they put it up. Okay. So Dad, Mom, and Josh. So Josh is a brother. Josh Shepard. Joshua Shepard. <laughs> it's very, getting very religious, especially with um, what they were talking about, how the town was founded uh, with, like, pilgrims uh, and stuff. And then, like, Alex Shepard. The last name Shepard, obviously. And then Joshua Shepard. Looks like someone got the suitcases down from the attic when Mum and Dad planning on going somewhere. Oh yeah, nothing like the creepy rocking chair by the window with the <laughs> when you can't even see outside. What a fucking great setup. It's just a vase, nothing useful. I think these were my grandfather's candle holders. Mum always insisted on lighting them when people came over for big dinners. This couch is really worn out. Me and Josh used to hide our comic books in the cushions. Mum always said they were a waste of time. She didn't understand. She didn't understand. It's just a dresser, nothing useful. This is Mum's favorite French poetry book. She loves poetry. These are Dad's books. He always got so worked up if I touched any of his stuff. Accessible. Mom keeps everything in perfect order. Why hasn't she fixed the clock? Yeah, god damn it, Mom. I leave the house 
go to war, come back, you haven't even fixed the fucking clock. It's a painting of a landscape. I wonder if it's based on a real place. Okay. Man, I'm not included in any family images. <laughs> it's a picture of Dad, Mom, and Josh. God, Mom looks miserable. This is fucking creepy as shit. How come I'm not in it? I know I was there. Oh, that's weird. Alright, I must have taken the photo. Duh. Okay, it's just some old desk. Man. Yeah. Who's in here? Uh, it'd be nice if I was in a photo. Oh, look, there's Mum and Josh. Yeah, I guess we know the kid, the, we know the favourite of the family. Classic. It was taken years ago, I guess she likes to remember him as her baby. Not me, though. Not the man who went and fought a war. Not the man who fought in a war. That's fine. Don't have a photo of me up anywhere. It's a letter from Mum and Dad. She never sent me letters when I was in boot camp. Adam, I know that you will soon return to me, but I miss you dearly, and writing to you always calms my nerves. Everything here is the same, but with you gone, the house is so empty. The letter ends there. I guess she never finished it. Okay, so Dad's name is Adam. What's what's Mum's name? We haven't got Mum's name yet. If it's Eve, I'm gonna laugh. I remember Mum sitting here cradling Joshua as a baby. Mum's jewelry case. I remember she would get mad if we touched it. Yep. Fucking Mum's not around. Is she. Mum and Dad's bed. Joshua and I got caught jumping on it once. Of course, I got punished while Josh was totally let off the hook. I'm really hammering home that fucking favorite thing. Ooh. Mum, Mum's got a spanking paddle. I know it's for the clock, dude. I know it's for the clock, but it's funny. It's for the clock. Look at it. Isn't that like the thing for the the, the big old ding dong along in the in the grandfather clock? Or is it a spanking paddle? Who knows? I can't inspect it either way. It won't let me pick it up. That's definitely for on the clock. That's why the clock's busted, Alex. Mum's been using it for some shit. Um, this closet is empty. Where are the clothes? Are they in the suitcase downstairs? Probably, bro. Also, you got a big ass pepper grinder on the floor as well. I don't know what's going on. Ah, oh, the bathroom. It's an old cassette tape. The label's been ripped off. I wonder what's on it. Got a cassette tape. Okay. Not bad. Man. Don't you miss when games actually did the whole working mirror thing? It's funny how they stopped doing that, isn't it? I keep I keep mentioning that. Whenever I play older games that have working mirrors, I'm like, wow. Things that were really kind of revolutionary when we were entering this era of gaming, and then they just went, Oh, it is too much effort. You can't do mirrors. I used to hate taking baths when I was a kid. It was always a struggle to get me in the tub. Don't like to rub a dub dub. It's a laundry hamper. Okay. Mom and Dad's room, pleasant. Oh. Uh. The slamming in the footsteps while I'm checking out a photo is actually kind of really terrifying. It's a photo of the whole family were at one of the town festivals. Everyone always thought we were the perfect family. I guess people believe what they want to. It's been a long time without any like environmental music, you know. That's us on the shore of Toluca Lake. Who the fuck's slamming doors and walking around? Is that downstairs? Who's in here? Not the bug collection. The door shut behind me. Alright, well I finally got the flashlight properly this time. Why? God. What's your problem? I... I had a bad dream. Never mind. It's nothing. Okay, bro. Look, 
take it. If you get scared again, just turn it on. Okay? Thanks, Alex. Sure. And then Joshua's just like lying there, putting the torch in his eyes. And then the mum bursts in and there's like, Alex! What did I say about giving a torch to Josh? He's stupid, he's blind now. Keep shoving the torchlight in his eyes. It's a photo of Dad and Josh fishing at the lake. Why am I never in any of these pictures, bro? Even in the bedroom, you ain't got no photos of yourself. God damn. Dad always made us keep our toys in this locker. Fucking bunk bed brothers win the battle. It's just a dresser. My toy rocker wants you, bro. Bloody Zooka. Looks like my parents sold all my toys. I guess after I left for the service, they didn't see much point in keeping any of my stuff. Okay. Join the fight. And then win the battle. This is Joshua's bug collection. One time I helped him catch some spiders in the backyard. He loves spiders for some weird reason. This bookshelf has seen better days, but there was something special about it. I can literally see that there's shit behind it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Ooh, hang on. Um. What the fuck? I can move the books? What, what am I doing here? Oh. Oh. It says move with, like, the left stick. There we go. Okay. I'm just moving the book. Ah, oh, there's a switch there. Hang on, let me see. There you go. Da da da. Fucking secret bookshelf. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Looks like a map of our house drawn in crayon. Classic. I got a map of our house drawn in crayon. Okay, so. Oh, the back. There's a backyard treehouse. There's an attic. There's a secret basement that's flooded, apparently. First floor. Second floor. Okay, that's the entrance. The rest of the first floor we can't go into yet because it's blocked off. Alrighty. We got a map. The silence is deafening. Fucking, that's not very secure, bro. Okay. Let's let's leave. Hey. All right. Uh, this door now. It's locked. I need a key to open it. Okay. And we do. We only have a cassette tape. All right. Um. Now there was. A door and footsteps. Okay, here we go. Door and footsteps time. Is it my mother? Okay. Water from the basement? What are you doing here? I just got discharged. I was in the hospital for a bit, but I'm all right now. You've been gone too long. Yeah. Where is everybody? Where's Josh? I don't know. 
Your father went to look for him. But now he's gone. Everyone's gone. That's a mighty big piece on you, Mom. She's backing. What's going on here? What happened? Mom. I miss your brother, Alex. Look. I'll find him. I had this dream. I, I, I just have a feeling he's in trouble. Don't worry about it. I'll find Joshua. Mom, your dress is... What, what was that? The basement. I'm gonna go look around. You just stay here. Fucking spooky. I don't know anything else, Alex. I'm sorry. Talk! <clears throat> Tell me your name. Tell me who you are. You're a monster. Why are you talking to me? Aren't you supposed to be looking for your brother? Bruh, so absent-minded, what the fuck? I can't talk to you right now, Alex. I'm tired. Okay. So the gun wasn't even a weapon? What the hell? The gun wasn't even a weapon, but we took it from her. Okay, Mom. That's fucking weird. <laughs> uh, and she brought all the watery goop with her from the basement. All right. Yo, yo, what the fuck, what the fuck is going on? I'll just leave it alone, I don't want to get shocked. Alright, yeah, probably a good idea. Alright, what fucking could go wrong? So it was... Mother dearest just chilling out in the watery basement, just having a fucking swim or what? So there's water here. <laughs> oh, man. Josh? Bubbles. I have a gun. Old revolver. Wait. Oh. Okay. I can't fucking see shit. Get fucking sliced. Holy shit. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Lurk no more. What is it called? A lurker? Okay, it's called a lurker. Makes sense, I suppose. Nurse swarm lurker. Classic name, bro. Defeated a lurker. Man. Good thing the cut prompt came up, because I didn't even see anything there in the way. <laughs> Fuck, let's get this shit down so I can swim in this fucking deep ass basement. <laughs> um, what the fuck? Okay. Who's got a lurker just chilling in the basement? Is this the part of the... Okay, so the secret is... This thing. Yeah, this is the secret. Naturally, the backyard 
The backyard door won't open while the basement is flooded. The safety latch is somewhere under all that water. It looks like the remote for our garage is sitting on top of this water pump. What is it doing down here? I got a garage remote. There's a note underneath. If it runs out of fuel, use the can from the garage to fill it, Adam. Well, the pump won't start without gas. I should check the garage, which was, you know, getting fucking scratched upon maybe by the lurker. The fucking claws on that shit were brutal looking. Okay, let's squeeze in here. Mannequin. Get that shit out of here. Son, you can't see me when I'm chopping my meat in the basement. <laughs> Alright, looks like there's a fucking door handle that I could put in there. It's off limits. Don't walk in on dad beating his meat downstairs, man. The door's locked but can be opened with the right key. We got dad beating his meat in the basement. We got mum smacking her ass with a part of the grandfather clock upstairs. And we got Joshua drawing the worst bunnies I've ever seen. And people thought this was the perfect family. Um, and Alex just fucking forgotten about. Nobody cares about good old Alex. I really want to know what the what mom's name actually is. Alex, honey. Because I've I, I can't remember if the judge mentioned it. Because L, I think L is someone else, right? Unless I've misunderstood. I think L is someone else. Because um, judge was like you should go check out with L, but then was also talking about our mother. I think it's separate people. Let's go out to the garage. We'll go out to the garage and we will open it and get gasoline for the generator. Oh, okay. I love how when you're inside it looks like lights coming in through the front door and then you get out and it's just like, mm-hmm. Very sunny. Okay, um, inventory. Garage remote. Open, open sesame. And then I need a cassette player. <laughs> oh! Yep, it was a, it was a worker. <laughs> Alright. Be fucking beautiful ass mermaid. Look at that. Beautiful mermaid. What is this? Baseball bat? Oh, steel pipe. Nice. Oh, that'll do. Give me it. Yo. Wing, wing. Okay. Steel pipe moment. Combat training manual. Fast attacks, strong attacks, charge attacks, and combos. When in combat stance, press A for fast attacks and X for strong attacks. Strong attacks can be charged up for added damage by holding down X. Successive fast attacks followed by a strong attack can make for uninterrupted strikes known as combos. Funnily enough though, <coughs> we have had no problem cool, just holding down, just doing fast attacks and an enemy has not even been able to like get a hit in. <laughs> Which is kind of b busted, but we'll see how that goes when we pro as we progress. Oh, nice. Use the steel pipe to pry this shit open. We've got more laundry washing machines up here as well as in the basement. Oh, it's empty. Great. Let's go siphon that shit out of a gas uh, tank in a truck. Let's go. Let's go to that truck. Well, if it's empty... 
Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Swing! <laughs> the fucking dodge roll that I did. Oh my god. Just... Okay. Combat actually feels uh, pretty decent. Roll into battle. Smack him with the pipe with the uppercut. And then when you hold down L, you get like a bit tighter on the dodge movement. <laughs> Look at these, look at these combos, man. Look at these mad combos. Okay, let's duck under here. I gotta go find some gas. Cause it's empty. I'm hearing noises and I don't like it. Yep. I love hearing the ghosts of children's past. I got a child's drawing. How lovely. I love child's drawings. You know me. Let's have a look. Where is Steven, mommy? He can't play and I'm sad. You mustn't ask my darling. Steven has been bad. Steven has been bad. Steven got cut up into pieces. And scattered across the playground. A big spider crawling next to my army toys in the park wouldn't let me squish the sp squish the spider. Someone, it's crossed out, wouldn't let me squish the spider. Interesting. Probably Joshua, because Josh loves spiders. I would assume is the name scribbled out. It's like, don't fucking squish my spider boy. I remember when dad spun me so hard on this I threw up. Yeah man, he was not trying to have fun with you, that was intentional. He hates you. That was the only time Adam was ever happy. <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. Alex is just like... This poor kid. Like, fuck this kid. Can't even climb this... This... The slide. Can't even play on the playground. Zero out of ten. Let me in. Right. Hang on. Oh. Oh, I just had to be on it at an angle. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Um so that's where we came from. It's so weird having a run animation that feels quite slow. I mean, it is a brisk jog, I suppose. Let's just do this everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Roll through every scenario. Hey. Oh, hello, man. All right, ready? Ready for the shit. Hey oh, dude, there's an actual dodge. Holy shit. There's an actual proper dodge animation, too. That was cool. Straight dodged out of the way. I didn't expect that, I just thought it would do like a little thing, but it was, it was, a, bit, it was a bit cinematic. Can I get the gas out of this truck's ass? Yes. Not its ass, but you know. I can use this to fill up the gas can. There was not much left, but I should be able to power up the generator with this. Yeah, I knew it would be the truck. Truck is gonna keep trucking. The gas tank is open. Looks like someone siphoned some gas out of this. Travis, you old hog. Oh, we got a ladder. Okay, can I go up said ladder? This game is so visually dark, it's hilarious. I'm playing the game at max brightness. <laughs> okay, uh, you can climb up here. Is this literally just to, like, what, escape from the fucking guy? The monster? In case you are scared? Maybe if Silent Hill turns into the other world version, that'll have another pathway or something. Alright, I got my gas. Moving on its own. Ok, 
Okay. I quite like the atmosphere they're setting up. At least it's a, it's it's a f quite a spooky vibe, and it's very unsettling, especially the uh, the mother being so absent. <laughs> so fucking such an unsettling little scene. Oh, damn. Uh, so I, the the setup is pretty cool. Uh, I like it more than than Origins so far in terms of uh, how it's beginning and how it's setting up. So that's something. Uh, Origins was just kind of fucking weird because just like, oh. oh no, hang on, look, the, it's in the clock. Never mind. It is okay. That's weird. Then what is it? It must be a fucking. It's a, it's definitely a spanking paddle. Then I don't know what else to tell you. The clock has the thing, but what is that? I don't know, man. I'll tell you. That's, that's... There's some shit to be done with that. There's some shit to be done with that you don't want to know about. Um, yeah, Origins is like, Travis has no fucking reason to stay around. He's like, oh, kids in the hospital? Cool. I see ya. I'm gonna go back to my truck now, and I'm gonna leave. But he's like... <laughs> Obsessed with figuring out the whole thing. Travis, Travis is just a protagonist that just feels like he's got no point in being there, but Silent Hill has summoned him there, and then he has the whole story with his, you know, obviously we, he has some stuff that has happened to him there. I don't know, man. Origins is a, is a mixed bag for me. This is kind of a weird one. We actually had music playing in the house for a little bit there. There you go. It's weird. It plays now, but not anywhere, anywhere else. I guess this will suck up all the... What's this gonna power? It power a fucking... Super Suck 3000 and it'll drain all the water? Yeah, I will say that this definitely has a, a better beginning and setup than Origins so far, at least. So, we'll just have to see how that goes. There you go, Su Super Suck 3000. Drain that water. Now I can open the secret door. Silent Hill, the game that is basically a black screen. Nice. You really have to drain the water to do that, but that's fine. I, I get why. Secret room! Okay, so it takes us to the backyard. Hang on, so why was that a secret? Oh no, hang on. No, sorry. I'm an idiot. The secret room is the... is Daddy's beat... Uh, meet and beat... Beat meat room. That's the one. That makes sense. Oh, we had a dog named Shuki. Hey, where's the dog? <laughs> Why does that instantly make me think of that stupid Silent Hill 1 meme where James is, um, not James, sorry, um, uh, fuck, what's his name? Harry? Um, is inspecting the doghouse in the first game. He's like, doghouse? <laughs> There's no dog nearby. It's just like the, the dog just in the air, just, <laughs> just yeeting himself at him. It's our air conditioning unit. It never worked very well. I hear a dog. Oh my god, you're gonna make me fucking smack a dog with a steel pipe. You're gonna make me smack my own family dog. Shit sounds fucking rabid. Ooh, god. Okay. Fuck me. Hello. Come here, dog. Um. Dog enemies are always and forever the worst, so... <sighs> I guess the dog's gonna jump the fence at some point after I beat it to death with a fucking steel pipe. This is my old bike. I bought this with the money I made for my paper route. Looks like the tires are flat, though. What do you expect, bud? The concept of having all of the drawings that we pick up just being like these horrific, unsettling child drawings. 
I got a child's drawing. Okay. Let's, let's, let's have a look at this one. Billy too and Sally, did they do something wrong? I'm afraid it's true, child. All your friends are gone. Let's just bury those fucking kids, man. They've been bad. Any kids that are bad are fucking buried. Look at a bag. What's this on the fence? This is Joshua's backpack. There's a photo inside. Um, Alex decided to go into Dad's room. I took this picture for proof. I had said something... I had said Dad doesn't come if I... Blah, blah. He just doesn't want Alex to. Wait, hang on. So... Um, I had said, Dad doesn't care if I come in, he just doesn't want Alex to. Okay, that's weird. So, Josh was allowed in the, in the meat-beaten room, but Alex wasn't. This looks like a picture of Dad's hunting room, but how did Joshua get in there? I'll read the text on the photo, man. Oh, shit. I meant to go up on the back porch before leaving. I literally expected this to be... Locked or jammed. <laughs> Beware of dog. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Let me go back. Beware of dog. Um, just another great example of um, weird parenting. Okay, so Josh was allowed in there. I was fucking documenting it with photos. Okay, backdoor shit. Let's have a look. BBQ bug zappy. Doesn't look like anybody's sat out here in a long time. There we go. Let's do. Let's let's stay within the bounds of the house for now before we leave the back door. So I think we're now on the other side of that door. Oh, nice. We got the cassette player here. Yeah. We're on the other side of the house. Okay, there, it's our answering machine. There's no tape inside. There's about to be. I used a cassette tape. wasn't yelling at you, I was yelling at that dumb fucking son of mine. What the fuck? Oh no, I can't skip it. Thank you. Um, weird. Get that subtitle off my screen, please. There's nothing to eat in the fridge, besides, I'm not hungry. <laughs> All this family trauma got me not hungry. Fucking even the drawing I'm not included. Uh, mom, dad, the son, fucking pit of darkness on the fucking ground. Interestingly enough, a child's drawing that I cannot pick up. But we can view it in first person. The sink is full of dishes. The smell is awful. Why hasn't mom been cleaning? What the fuck, mom? That's the least of my concerns, Alex, but go off. This is why the family hates you, man. Because you're too busy focusing on the condition of dishes right now. In comparison to everything else. Okay. We got the sewing room check. There's a note next to the phone. Adam, don't forget to ask Curtis about the engine. That's right. Curtis. 
fit check. That's right, nice dress. This is Mum's sewing machine. She used it to mend our clothes. Sometimes she'd spend all day mending clothes or making things for other ladies around town. Okay. Take that, Mum's sewing machine. These are Mum's sewing books. She'd sit on the couch for hours and plan her next sewing project. Making new clothes was something she loved to do. Oh Lord, grant me the faith to trust in your judgment, the wisdom to see your way, and the strength to do what is asked of me. Alright, go through this door. Nope. Okay, so we need to get a, a weapon capable of hacking through wood before we can check out more of the house, which is that bottom segment, bottom middle segment of the room. Alright, um, so that cassette tape was just more... Depression? <laughs> How long has this sandwich been sitting here, man? Look at this fucking ham and cheese. How long has it been there for? Alright, let's leave. Okay. I think... I think... Now that we've explored as much of the house as we can, and before we go out into this next segment of, uh, of the town, uh, we're gonna go out here where... Um... Actually, apparently there's a tree house. I remember the day we built this tree house, we had so many good times. Okay. I was wondering if we could actually ascend into said tree house, but um, it just looks like it's just on the map. It's just drawn in. That's cool. Just thought we'd check that before we end this episode. We're going to bring this first episode of Silent Hill Homecoming to a close. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been a, a good start, I think. I, I like how the game started. It's been very quiet <laughs> since, since, like, roaming around this area of the game. Um, there's not much sound going on in terms of music. I got this nice sound of a steel pipe and horrific ambience, but no music um, for these segments. But that's all right. Hopefully there'll be some more musical segments just in the background. I wouldn't mind a bit of ambience happening. Um, instead of just my own voice, but it is what it is. Um, in terms of how it feels, it's it's different. It's new. In terms of like the approach to being third person, we got a fucking we got dodge rolls. Um, it feels good. Um, I'm gl I'm happy that there's no durability with the weapons like there was in Silent Hill Origins because that sucked. <laughs> um, but it, it feels pretty good. Uh, it feels pretty good. I think uh, I'll be interested to see how the rest of this game goes. I'm not sure how the story is setting itself up yet, but there's some. Uh, you can obviously see that there's some cool. There's some cool themes and swings going on their own, but uh, it's a it's a creepy, spooky atmosphere uh, for the moment. So it's it's a good first impression, and we'll just have to see how it continues. So thank you so much for joining me for the first episode of Silent Hill Homecoming, and I'll see you next time.